What if I was to tell y'all it's finally possible to use shaders for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition? You heard me right. I feel so bad for y'all who don't have RTX GPUs, you know, not able to use shaders because of this render dragon, but hey, look no further. I'm here to help y'all. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of these type of videos. Both are free to do. Oh, let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm on the latest version of Minecraft, the normal version of Minecraft, normal version. Um, I say that because you'll you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Um, y'all can see I do have uh pay attention to this real quick. Vanilla RTX, you know, there's no exclamation mark, none of that, you know. Okay, pay attention to that. We're just gonna show you guys that we are on the RTX version of Minecraft, the version of Minecraft that doesn't work with shaders at all, aka render dragon. Um, we could just go onto the hive or mm, matter of fact, we could just go on lifebo and just show you that we have RTX, you know. I'm not clickbaiting this, this is all legit. I don't know why I'm able to join. Oh, it's probably that glitch. Um, let me just join a random world. Doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna join this world. Um, you can see that the world just looks normal. We do have RTX though. Um, and oh my god, RTX just crashed on Minecraft. What in the world was that? Okay. Uh, pff, I think RTX is glitched. I don't know what just happened. My whole Minecraft just went black. It looked like it was about to crash for a second. But yeah, you can see that I'm on the RTX version of Minecraft. Why does everything look so squeaky? I think we glitched, but yeah, one RTX, you can see the reflections, all that. Everything looks insane. Day, nighttime, all that just looks phenomenal. Um, let's go midnight and yeah, just everything looks fantastic. But now we're gonna show you how to remove this. And like I said, it doesn't matter what GPU you're using, AMD, RTX, uh, GTX, it doesn't matter. You're able to finally use shaders for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. Let's go. All right, perfect. So first things first, um, check the description below. There will be a link that I want you to download. Um, trust me, it's not a virus. I've checked, I've downloaded it. It's working perfectly fine. That is the Minecraft that is able to use um, shaders. Simple, it's fantastic. It gets the job done. It's legit. Like I said, I've used it. No virus whatsoever. It works perfectly fine. And while you're installing that, you could just, um, if you don't want to lose all your data, you could just simply make a backup of your Minecraft. It works perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is just right click anywhere on our desktop. We're going to go to new, we're going to go to folder and we could just name this like backup. Um, perfect. And what we're going to do is go to the directory of where Minecraft is. So it'll be right about here. So C users, you won't have sick G that is my, you know, you Microsoft thing. It'll be your name, then app data, local packages. And then you should see something called uh microsoft that minecraft uwp 8w yada 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 etc it'll be in the description below just to make y'all life easier after coming to this director you see ac app data log data uh, all that uh, local states all that what you want to do is copy all of this all right copy this it doesn't even matter if you copy or drag it just drag it actually because you don't even need this simply select all of it and then just drag it straight into the backup folder um, the reason we're doing this is because like I said, we're going to be copying this same exact data. Once we install Minecraft back straight into the Minecraft, um, that we're going to be installing. It just makes life easier and we don't lose anything. You know, we could just click on this little box. If it shows this click on skip and you should be good to go. You know, you can go local state games, combat mode, and you can see that all your resource packs and everything is there. That's pretty good. Perfect. And then now what we're going to do is uninstall Minecraft. It's simple. You just type in Minecraft in your search bar, right click on it and then click on uninstall. Simple. Takes a second. Easy peasy. Now y'all can see Minecraft is not there anymore. Perfect. Now what you want to do is go to the description below. Um, let me just open up another folder real quick. Go to the description below and there will be this Microsoft that Minecraft UWT. You can notice that it is the exact same thing, almost the exact same thing. Pretty sure this is the 86 bit version of Minecraft. Um, poggers, I guess. <laughs> what we're gonna do is double click on it. You see that there will be a little box that enables or just pops up and then it'll show, you know, it's all Minecraft for Windows 10. Um, trusted, this is actually from the Microsoft store, which is insane. You can click launch and ready. Um, and yeah, just click on yes, doesn't matter. This is directly from the Microsoft store. It's just, we don't have an 86 bit version uh, system. I'm pretty sure if our system was 86 bit, um, it would have showed this and we would not have this problem right now with Render Dragon. So that's pretty poggers. And it shouldn't take too long or it may take long depending on your internet and depending on your device. You know, this, this is just instant for me. <laughs> All right, as y'all can see, we are in Minecraft. I'm gonna instantly uh, just, yeah. 
music is always down. I'm not saying I hate the Minecraft music, but it's just unnecessarily loud. And now once you sign into your Microsoft account, all that, like I said, it works perfectly fine. It should be just a simple click and you should be signed in automatically. What you want to do is just close this Minecraft, go to the same exact directory where Minecraft and all those things were installed, where we copied the stuff and drag into the backup folder. So see users, your name, app data, local packages, Minecraft, all that. And then what you want to do is open up the backup folder and drag everything from there straight onto where Minecraft is. So backup folder, copy all this. We don't even need to copy. We're just dragging it, dragging onto here. And then they're saying you may need to replace something here and there. Just click on yes and you should be good to go. It's that simple. And then we're going to show that the shaders does work. We have a shader in mind. My favorite shader. We're about to use it. So it'll say replace the files in destination. Click yes. Um, shouldn't take too long. Should be instant. There we go. And now what we're going to do is just close these and we should be good to go. We could just delete this backup folder. We don't need it anymore. We should be good to go. Let's just open up Minecraft real quick. Yes, sir. I'm excited. And you know, you've done everything correct. If you have an exclamation mark right where the RTX, um, you know, thing is, So we have RTX. You can see warnings right there. Um, this pack contains, uh, there we go. So if this has a little exclamation mark, that means that this version of Minecraft does not have render dragon. That's exactly what we want to see. So we're going to deactivate this um i'm pretty sure i even have a shader there you go esb yep 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 esb favorite shader that i haven't used in like <laughs> so long and um yeah we're gonna test this out and fingers crossed that everything works it should work we're going on the hive oh my god it's been a while since i've been hive with this shader let's go moment of truth everything should be working your minecraft may crash first time but it shouldn't crash anymore it did crash for me previously and there we go ladies and gentlemen we are back in minecraft better than ever with shaders i'm telling you, like i said i know rtx looks fantastic it looks really good it gets the job done it's better well in some ways better than shaders or not but it's just super 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 gpu intensive man it could lag a lot of things that shouldn't boy shaders it depends on the shaders some of them are some of them are not but i'm able to play minecraft with this beautiful look at the aurora borealis oh my god they look so good and just like that ladies and gentlemen we finally have shaders back from minecraft bedrock edition minecraft Windows 10 edition i'm gonna be real with you <laughs> i know i have rtx i'm gonna stay in this version of minecraft i really really miss just not having render dragon and just having this version of minecraft when i can use any shader i could want um that works for windows 10 edition like come on who doesn't miss that i miss that render dragon really messed up a lot of things and it has decreased fps i'm pretty sure i might make a whole video with render dragon versus non-render dragon you know show a little differences here and there and show you know if you get more fps on render dragon or not obviously i don't think you do <laughs> Two versions behind to be exact this is 1.18.0 the version that we are on that has render dragon 1.18.2 i don't care it's barely anything there and i get to use shaders so that's poggers if this works for you guys make sure you leave a like let me know in the comments below and i'm pretty sure laza made a video about this previously i think he made it like weeks ago or months ago um so hey credit to him and lastly credits to onshore which is one of my thumbnail designers um he did remind me about this he did tell me about this so massive shout out to you both of the channel links will be down below yeah look at that oh my god we got oh my god i'm i i've missed you i seriously missed you but thank you guys for watching the video if y'all enjoyed it you're ready to do slap that like button and if this worked for you guys make sure you leave a yeah if you would like you could leave a comment as well saying it worked thanks you know um like i said i wasn't the one who came up with this i wasn't the one who found out about this i don't know who was the original person that did but like i said credit to laza mcpe and credits to onshore both of the things will be in the description below if it wasn't for them i would have not known about this but thank y'all for watching the video it's your boy Patsar. i'll see y'all in the next one peace out <laughs>